Hey, what's up? It's Mia. Looks like Razor's keeping tabs on you. I guess he never figured he'd see you again. I like the idea that he'll be looking over his shoulder from now on. Keep laying it down out there. I'll call you later. Hello everybody, this is Olive Branch and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. In the previous episode, we finished off Sunny in a challenge rival race for the Blacklist number 15 spot, and we took it. We also managed to get Sunny's car, his Volkswagen Golf GTI. I put it up to a vote as to what we had to do with this car, and the majority of you said, sell this piece of thing, sell this piece of crap, look at this pig, just, just put it back into the shop. So, uh, in the spirit of the thread, I will do that. But first, what I have to do is I have to remove everything Sunny has done to it. I have to remove this body, put it back to stock level, remove the vinyls, remove the spoilers, remove everything. Just remove everything he's done to it. You may be asking why? Well, the reason is, is because, for some reason, selling the car, the modded car, as it is, only gets you a certain amount of cash, but undoing every modification actually nets you extra cash back so for some reason for some reason the game doesn't add up the costs of all these traded in items over here into the selling of the car so you have to physically go through and remove everything yourself and so that's exactly what I'm doing now so don't mind this I'll be fast I will cut this out for the majority I'm just right now removing everything that he's added to it all right, guys, time to say goodbye to this Golf GTI, which, for some reason, the, the dealer did not did not mind the fact that this car is painted horribly, and we couldn't get extra money for it. Let's get 17,500 bucks to trade this car in. And now, we're left with our good old stock Cobalt SS. Hopefully it'll be enough to, uh, to run through the blacklist challenges. So for today's event, I'm going to be showing off a new type of race, the Toll Booth. Toll Booth is basically a sort of time trial. You have to start at the beginning of the, in the bottom left here, you have to start at the starting point, and you have a set amount of time to get from point A to cross a checkpoint. When you cross a checkpoint, you earn more time. You have to cross all the checkpoints and end the finish line before you run out of time. Alright, so like I said, hopefully our stock Chevy will be enough for this. I believe it will. We have one minute to get to the, toll, the first toll booth. Probably should have gone on the other way there, but probably would have been less turning. That's okay. Also, the this tow booth. This is a, since this is our first tow booth. There's a minimum probability of cops. We won't get any. And here's our first tow booth. We get a time bonus of 20 minutes, 0.23 seconds, and we have one minute to get to the next one. There's not much to say really about tow booth races. If you're gonna race one, you really have to bring the fastest car you have, probably with some nitrous when you can afford it. Because tow booth is all just you. It's all you. And you can't you can't use the excuse that other that other cars are trying to dick you over because if you're a bad racer, you're gonna do poorly in these. But at the same time, your car has to be fast enough to deal with the sometimes very strict time limits of these challenges. should be taking the inside curve, even if it is going the wrong way. We have 43 seconds, but I'm very confident we'll complete this with good old overpowered American engineering. Dad's Chevy coming through once again. I hope he doesn't mind that we return it with a couple extra scratches on the paint.
And there we have it. Our first tow booth race ever. $2,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yo, it's Raj. If you need any parts or think you got enough for a new ride, head over to one of the shops. I told them you're a friend, so they should be cool. They're on your map. Check it out. Alright, Raj just warned us about new parts, but you know what? I'm gonna hold off on those, like I said in the thread. Attention District 3. A street racer has just been reported heading north on Highway 99, requesting units to head up. Well, you know what? Let's just swim back to the safe house and avoid that. And instead, let's jump straight to the milestone events. I've already completed the two photo tickets uh, off camera. But, this time around, we've got a couple of new ones. We have to get 1,000 bounty in a single pursuit, evade the police with a cost of state of at least $15,000, and perform at least three infractions uh, during our police chase. Well, let's do it, guys. So yeah, the cops are getting a bit annoyed at the fact that we just committed some crimes here and we just committed three infractions at least. So now it's time to smash into everything we can to rack up our cost of state. Just gonna be wrecking everything I can, and the fun thing about milestone events, you can just immediately get into a chase. You don't have to play around with free roam to get to the cops. 22. And Dad's Chevy is a goddamn tank. Look at this. We just completed the bounty milestone event. Now we just gotta keep trashing as much as much stuff as we can. But uh oh. We're playing close to getting busted. We better speed up and move away. Get those units over here now. And listen, the cops are a bit lost. I'm holding back a little bit so that we can keep racking up damage. Cost of state. Which does increase on its own over time as you're Roughly paying for the cops' salary and gas and stuff. But let's just speed this up. Keep it nice and simple, eh? One last T-bone, and I think we just killed a poor person there. Alright, and that's it. After completing a milestone event, you have to actually finish the bounty successfully. If you're caught by the cops, all your hard work will be for naught. So let's just use a pursuit breaker and get this over with. Running right through a gas station, blowing it up. And we just re oh my gosh. We re we just wrecked three police cars on with that. So you may be wondering, how do I increase cooldown faster doing evasion? Find a hiding spot. They're on the minimap. Remaining units, be advised, vehicle wet BCB, heading eastbound on Rock Ridge Drive. Uh, supervisor indicates he wants a quadrant set up east of the suspects. Uh, I consider call still code six. And wow. As you noticed, wrecking police cars really adds to your bounty. The cops hate that. Well, we completed the three milestones we had to. Bounty, 
infractions in Costa State. And let's see how we did. A three minute long police chase, two damaged police vehicles, three immobilized ones. We just cost the taxpayers $32,625 on that and we have five infractions we committed. Ramming a cop, hit and run, damage to property, resisting arrest, and once again, driving off the roadway. Nice run. Alright, here's the deal. Razor's left the borough. He's racing in Rockport. To get to him, you gotta go through the ranks of the blacklist and clean out each area. There's three areas known as boroughs. This here is Rosewood. Camden Beach is on the coast, and Rockport is right after it. Unless you have enough rep, you can't get into the next level of racing. To do that, you gotta win. There's no second place here. Just keep plowing through your objectives till you can challenge a blacklist racer. I'll feed you more info as I dig it up. Later. Alright, so Raz just clued us in that there's three major zones in the game. And we're just stuck on the first one. Any case, this is it for the episode 4. We completed our three milestones, we completed the race I had to do for you to show to you off to you guys. And I will do these five races off camera. Next time around, we challenge Taz. Catch you all later.